My name is Andrew Raymond Schwartz, and you're not. Chevy Chase reference. I <laughs> nailed it. So what I'm here doing here is experimenting with um, raw pico de gallo, which is something I ask for when for as dressing instead of processed death dressing you can get from a restaurant. I mean, it's all got sh refined sugar and it's probably got radiation. You don't even know it. Just kidding. I don't know that. But it's just not good for you. If you want to like cut everything out, do everything raw like I'm doing um, and have been doing for the last like 130 days or whatever, it's just an amazing ride that it's been. I um, feel so much better about myself. Um, cut out any alcohol, anything like that. So I assume you know how to dice up tomatoes. That's one entire tomato pretty much um, that I put in there. And uh, I got some red onion here. It's been making my eyes feel like a, a little bit emotional, <laughs> but that's all right. Cut off all the stalks like this. The most annoying thing in life as a raw food person, a raw foodie, what have you, whatever you call it, is go into a restaurant and you have to say things like, put the dressing on the side, everything on the side, please. And no cheese and no meat, because sometimes I won't know. It's not really obvious that they have meat and cheese in the salad, and then they bring it out, and you're like, ah, turn around, go back to the kitchen, bring me what I want. This is a ceramic knife I'm using. It's really sharp, and it's really great for stuff like this. I'm going to let Kay have some of this, and she does not like spice as much as I do. You just take this, this white stuff out, because that's a hot part, and it's more hot than the seeds in the jalapeno. And I'm just gonna cut this sucker up, and I love red hot chili peppers. The band, they're okay, they're pretty cool, but the actual food is awesome. Just a little bit of those, since Kay's gonna be tasting it, I don't wanna blow her brains out, you know, and it's easier to put less in and be like, oh, that needs more, and put more in, than to be like, oh, I gotta pick some out because it's wrecked now. Um, so now I got some garlic here. I just cut it like this and like just cut the chunk out that I want like that and then take all the paper off all right like this and I'm gonna mince the crap out of this here. Okay now I got my lime. and then just squeeze it into the bowl. Whoop. Squeeze it in. It might be a little tart. I'm gonna be putting this on a salad later. So I, I kept in the tomato, there's the seeds. Some recipes call that you, you take the seeds out, but I kept them in and all the squishy, gooey seeds because I want tomatoes to grow in my stomach. No, <laughs> I'm stupid, bad joke of the day. I want this to be more gushy and wet to make that dry salad. It's already gonna have avocado on the salad, but I'm gonna stir the crap out of this. Now we got the nice pickle de gallo. Try to make it the thinnest you can. And this thing is so sharp. If, if someone w broke into your house and wanted to kill you, just get out your Cuisinart uh, ceramic knife and <laughs> start slashing. I think it's a beautiful work of art now. I'm gonna take all this and just put it into there. Okay, we want some spinach in here. How much? More? And we've got all our ingredients. Mix it up loosely. Just gonna put the pico de gallo all over it. We're gonna share this salad. If you like it hot, put more spice in. Please subscribe, it would help me out with my whole thing. On today's menu, we have a kitty sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.